Hello, my name is Bobby Peterson. I'm a third grade teacher at Center Grove Elementary School. One of the trickiest skills that third graders need to learn to do is to find elapsed time. So today I'm gonna to show you a strategy that we teach students to help them figure out how to find an elapsed time from a story problem. Lexi Wilson is here to demonstrate for us today. So Lexi's gonna show us what the strategy we use to find elapsed time. So the problem is Tony's basketball practice started at 5.20 and ended at 8.40. How long was Tony's practice? So Lexi is showing us a T chart. She puts the beginning time on one side, 5.20, and the ending time, 8.40, on the other side. The first thing Lexi is going to do is find out how many hours have elapsed. So she'll start at 5.20 and add one hour, and she sees that that is 6.20, and she labels the other side one for one hour. Then she'll go to the next hour, 6.20, 7.20, two hours. Can we go to 8.20? So she adds another hour, three hours. Can we go to 9.20? No, that would be too far. So she'll draw her line and she knows now that it is three hours that have elapsed. Now she'll work on minutes. So she starts at 8.20 and adds five minutes. 825 and then she'll continue until she gets to 840, adding in five minute increments and keeping track on the right side of the T chart. And she gets up to 840. And that's where she needs to stop. So she'll draw her line and then she'll look at the right side of her chart to find her answer. The elapsed time is three hours and 20 minutes. Another strategy or another um, problem that we can use using to solve using this strategy is adding or subtracting time. So this problem is Bella's gymnastics class began at 615. It lasted two hours and 15 minutes. What time was the class over? So Lexi again is setting up the T-chart. This time she's putting the beginning time here, but on this side she's showing how much time has passed and she'll find out on this side of the chart what her answer is. So she'll start at 6.15 and add her two hours, adding one hour at a time, 7.15 and 8.15. She'll draw her line to show that she's finished with hours, and now she's going to write 5, 10, 15 to keep track of her minutes. So 8.20 is five minutes, 8.25, and 8.30. And that's where she ends, so her answer is 8.30 is the ending time. And that's how we find elapsed time in third grade.